All right, today I'm going to show you how you can solve a percent problem using a proportion. Remember that proportions are ratios and they're a relationship between two quantities. So when we're looking at a problem like what number is 70% of 45, we want to think about how we can set that up using a proportion. The percent is the part over the whole. Now we know that percent means per hundred. So it's going to be the part out of 100, which is equal to the part over the other whole. So going back to our original question, what number, the number being the unknown, right, or the x, if we're thinking algebraically, is 70% of 45. So let's think about our relationships here. Is is the part. So is 70%, okay, the part, 70%. And we already know that percent means per 100, so 70% is gonna be out of 100, okay? What number? That's the unknown. This is the part that's unknown. And the whole, 70% of the whole is always of the number 45. So, Friends, what we're going to use to solve this problem is the butterfly method. Before we do that, I want you to just think about what makes this reasonable. What number is 70% of 45? Okay? So, 70% out of 100 equals what of 45? We're going to use the butterfly method here, which means that we're going to multiply using cross products. Okay? So we'll go ahead and multiply 45 times 70. I'll multiply my base here, 45 times 7. 7 times 5 is? 35. Good. Thanks for sharing that. Okay. What was that? 3,150. All right. And 7 times 4 is 28 plus 3? 3,150. Yeah, 3150, okay? And then we'll multiply the other uh, equals 100x. So we're trying to solve for the unknown, which is the x, which means that I need to get rid of this 100. I'm going to do that by dividing both sides of my equation by 100, okay? 100 divided by 100, that's going to cancel that out. I'll have x. Now I'm dividing 100 into 3,150, 3, which is just moving decimals, right? Mm -hmm. How many decimals are we gonna move it? Two. So my answer will be? 31.5. You got it. Now the nice thing is now that I know what X is, I can plug in a value for X to see if this is a proportional relationship. 31.5 times 100 is? is, is 3,150. Very good. And 70 times 45 is? The same as 7 times 45, which we did here. What is it? 3,150. And these are the same products, so that means it's a true proportion. Thumbs up if this is starting to make sense. Awesome. Let's try another one. Okay? This one we didn't know what the number was. Now let's take a next look here. 23% of 75, remember the word of means our whole, is what number? Is this the part that we don't know? Okay, they give us the 